Welcome back to the console koala and as promised at the end of my rain review This is my review for Beyond Eyes, which I think is a forgotten gem of a game Most of my gamer friends I talk to about this and a lot of them haven't heard of it and asked me what it is And I can't really do it justice without the game in front of me. So today I've got the footage I've got what I think and you can see if you want to uh, Play the game yourself now. What is Beyond Eyes? Now this is gonna put a lot of people off and to be honest It's not a game. That's for everyone It's at its simplest form it's an artistic walking simulator. Now this is from Team 17, they're the same company that bought us um, such recent gems as Ukulele, which was controversial, which I don't know why, because that was a good, good game. And Golf With Your Friends, which is one of the best mini golf games on the system at the moment, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox. I think it's on Switch as well. That's a great mini golf game with online play. So definitely play that. But today we're talking about Beyond Eyes. Now, what's the story of Beyond Eyes, I hear you ask? Well, it's about a girl called Ray, and the start of the game is very similar to Rain, which I reviewed in my last review. It's kind of an artistic watercolour storybook. She's watching fireworks, and there's a fireworks accident, and one kind of spark comes down, hits her in the eyes, and she's blind, which is quite a uh, depressing way to start the game. Until you walk over a piece of land, or near something, or hear something like an animal, or machine, or something, then you, can, then you can see what she's kind of seeing in her mind's eye and it's kind of all water coloured over and it's a really nice uh, effect and a really nice artistic style as I've said earlier and basically this cat comes into her garden which she names Nanny and it, she has a friendship with it anyway, it starts visiting less and less and she thinks, oh, that was like my only friend so now uh, she's got to um, she's going to go out of her way go out of the garden on this little adventure, this blind girl, to find this cat that was uh, sort of almost her cat in a way. And so you go through these levels, and as I say, they kind of make, it kind of water colours over the land you've been over already, so you're kind of discovering the level as she's discovering it, and it kind of gets across and telegraphs that kind of what it's like to be blind in a way, seeing things through your mind's eye. What I like about this game also is there are certain things where Based on the sound, she thinks she's heard something. Like, for example, there's a bit with a washing line, and then suddenly you'll get closer, and a crow will squawk at you, and then her mind's eye change, oh, it's a scarecrow. And uh, there aren't, there's no combat in this game, but there are certain enemies like um, the crows and the dogs that bark, and they kind of get an awe around them with the sound, and you've got to kind of find a different way around. It kind of just blocks you off like an invisible wall. And uh, it's quite interesting how they portray like a blind person there. And then there's a level where you meet Lily, who's, she's, I think, I'm sure it's a school. It's got a church there, but I'm sure it's like a Catholic school of some sort. And she loses her ball over the wall and you have to go and find it and give it back to her at one point. Now that'll become relevant later on. <laughs> and uh, it's quite a short game, about two and a half hours. And as I say, it's quite artistic. I don't know how much replay value you're gonna find it. I've, I played it through again this time but I don't know when I'm gonna to touch it again. I played it when I first got it as well. So I've probably played through it about two or three times, but it's still quite a nice artistic experience. Um, it's not too difficult. Um, sometimes you might lose your way a bit, but normally it uses bird sounds in the distance or you've got a path there that will show you where to go. So it's quite good in that respect. And then at the end, I mean, I can go straight to the end. There's, I don't wanna ruin it too much for people, the actual main game. But at the end, if, if you don't wanna know the ending, then um, skip ahead a bit but to this time stamp here. But at the end, um, you find, uh, you can hear Nanny's collar. So she goes towards the collar and you find out it's hanging on a tree. Now this scene is actually put together really well because you've got this maze of walls that you can't see till you hit them. And it's like, oh, I've got to walk around. And then suddenly she falls through a gap in the wall. Turns out the wall were, were all just rows of gravestones and she's fallen down where she's feeling for one and it was already on the floor. And then you go towards where you heard the collar and you find out it's on a branch. So it's implied the cat is dead and it probably was ill and that's why it visited less and less. Anyway, this is a bit of a sentimental bit and then Lily comes back into the garden at the end. So she's found a friend from going on this journey to find the cat. Now, what I like about this game is, to me, it leaves it open and I could be wrong in this. This might not be the, the, the way they intended it at all. But it leaves it open to the fact that because she's blind, was there ever a cat? there was it even the same cat every time or was that just her kind of imagination and lack of sight that kind of imagined it 
So um, I'll leave that open to you for interpretation, or you might comment below other interpretations of it, but I'd recommend this game on sale. I don't know, I don't think for the replay value it's worth full price. I think it's worth playing, definitely. If you can get it on sale, it's definitely worth it. It's just a nice different experience. If you don't like walking simulators, I'm not gonna tell you to buy it, no way. But I think it's something that a lot of people should experience, especially people who aren't hardcore gamers that aren't going to want to go out there and play an FPS or going to want to... It's a great game to zen out to. There's certain games like that you can just zen out to, like Rain was a bit, but Rain, mild peril, as Disney would say on the back of their DVDs. It was in the way you run away from that enemy, whereas here there aren't really any enemies apart from things that block your way. But again, I think it's something a bit different. It's something that came out a little while ago now, a few years back. But if it's on sale... It's on most of the last gen consoles. Feels weird to say that now. PS4 or Xbox. It'll be on PC as well, but um, yeah, it's quite a nice game. It's got quite a nice soundtrack as well. It saves the chapters when you finish the game, so you can just jump in wherever you want to jump in. Um, it's a slow moving game as well. That's the one, one other thing I want to add is she drives like a truck. She's slow, there's no sprint button whatsoever. And sometimes she's slow to turn or if you ease off the thumbstick a bit, she'll just stop completely. But as I've said, pick it up if it's in a sale. If it's not, I wouldn't recommend picking it up. You've got the trophies there, so go for that. I don't think it's got a platinum trophy. It's just got the normal trophies, and most of them are for side things, like some something you could totally miss. Like there's a bit in a park where you can, you can choose to stop and ride on a swing, and that'll get you a trophy. Most of the stuff you get trophies for isn't for actually, although there is one for completing the game, but the majority of the trophies are side missions that you can easily miss. But anyway, that was Beyond Eyes. I hope you've enjoyed that review. If you want to see more reviews, comment below. I'm going to start doing some Let's Plays as well. And uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this stuff, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the rear view. Because for now, I've got my thinking cap on, and I'm gone.